But in Australia, we are blessed to have some really amazing native species that don't appear anywhere else in the world. Um, probably most people know about barramundi. Uh, we have silver perch, jade perch, uh, Murray cod. And these fish range in temperature from the tropics right through to, to colder regions. For example, the Murray cod is a cold water fish. We do have trout in Australia, but that's not a, not a native species to Australia. So all the fish I've mentioned are particularly adaptable to tank culture. They, they, they work particularly well in tanks and um, they grow out uh, to be beautiful eating fish. So we're lucky in that regard. We do wish we had something like tilapia, I've got to say. Tilapia is a wonderful food, fish food for use in aquaponics, but in Australia that's regarded as a pest fish. Even though the, there is a lot of tilapia in the streams and rivers, especially around the southeast part of Queensland, uh, but it's still regarded as a pest fish, so we're not allowed to have that. Um, Barramundi is fairly well known around the world as a restaurant fish. You know, it's highly sought after by chefs. It's not the easiest fish to raise. Um, it has this bad habit of eating its brothers and sisters. But apart from that, it's, um, it's a, it adapts very readily to tank culture and um, is, is a great fish to grow. Um, I'm an experimenter by nature, so... Right from the first day I started aquaponics, I was so fascinated by the way uh, particularly lettuce and ordinary type of things grew so well, it wasn't long before I started to imagine, well, it's okay to have lettuce on your plate and it's okay to have a few tomatoes, but what about all the other things? I really believe we've got to be able to find ways to grow fruit. So we started by trying to grow some tropicals um, in, in, the, in the form of papaya or pawpaw as we call it in Australia. Um, that was my first challenge because I really love that and, and where I live in South East Queensland, it doesn't grow very well at all because um, we're not quite tropical where we are, so I thought that's a challenge. And I've just been absolutely astonished at, as to how easy it is to grow uh, and how well it grows. We've just had the most giant pawpaws of the most wonderful quality uh, come off our trees. And uh, just yesterday we were at the Epicot Centre and there they have a tropical greenhouse with a pawpaw grove. And I've got to say my aquaponic pawpaws are far, far superior both in size, colour, just, it's just amazing what we can grow in aquaponic systems. Currently I'm trying to grow citrus, they're going okay but not as well as I'd like and uh, we're going to embark in this, um, this summer, it's coming into summer in Australia now, so I'm going to be planting out some avocado and a few other uh, fruit varieties that I want to be able to grow in aquaponics.